And hello, Shock fans, your beloved soldier of the Inverted Cross, Rip the Full Blown Freak Show, here for the Big Bionicle Special. Now, this is the first part, and then we'll be doing this is the first part of the Protectors, then there'll be the part two, which will be the Toa. Um, and finally, will be a slideshow. I haven't made the slideshow yet. That may be a gap in between the two specials and the uh, slideshow for a little while. But first review is going to be the protectors. I actually didn't intend on picking these guys up except for the protector of, uh, is it Earth? Or I think so. Um, um, the black one. He's pretty awesome. I have modified these guys a little bit, mock, done a mock, mock on them. Uh, like I took away the stupid purple weapon and they look right. Because he's got a gun through his stomach and he's got two small knives. This guy has good posability, uh, elbow joint, wrist joint, and same with the legs. I normally don't note articulation on Legos because they normally all have good articulation. The ice and fire guy, they actually did some stupid stuff and all you needed is one piece and that's the modification I did. They have the same build. You see there's three short ones, the uh, uh, black one, white one, and red one all have the same kind of build. But you're supposed to connect this hand to a joint like the elbow joint. I actually pop it off. Sorry, these tend to be kind of hard to follow nowadays. This was supposed to be up here. I reversed these two pieces so he can have a knee joint that doesn't that keeps his knee in place without it like waggling everywhere. Um, the detailing on this one I like. Uh, I've changed the gun gimmick thing a bit and gave him like a sword of ice. I kept the shield gimmick intact. Um, not the armor and the clear blue pieces. You have all you need to modify, and this is what I did. I put this one short black piece in here, and it give him articulation in the elbow, so he doesn't have really short arms. Because I don't get why they didn't do that. Because I know they all have the short build, the uh, black, white, and red. But the black one came with articulated elbows. And I, I didn't modify him at all of them as weapons. I modified all of them as weapons, I think. So yeah, the, the white ones are really cool. And if you have the ability to modify the piece, I suggest you do it. If I wouldn't have had the piece, then I will say this. I know Lego isn't going to hear this. I wouldn't have bought the set at all. I would have just stayed with that one. But I'm glad I did have the ability to modify it because I really did want these to go to the Toa. Next, we'll go with the, uh, the one that people tend to like a lot. I don't know why I like it. I mean, I love it, but I mean, not like I do the some of the other ones. Uh, this one hasn't been modified except for the weapon, and I didn't like the weapon, even though it was like a big giant crossbow that just got in the way. Swords and an underslung gun. These guys need basic weapons since they're like villagers, where I know these guys are supposed to be the elders, like the Turaga, Turaga from the old ones. Love the green and the, uh, I think these are new pieces, the later jungle looking pieces. Like the other shot, he's got one big shoulder pad and one normal one. He's got the vines. Uh, the yellow's okay. I normally don't like that color, but it works okay with this. And he's pretty cool. He does have the. I didn't like modify him for articulation. He already had good articulation. All of them wear the same mask. In case you haven't noticed, just different colors. Okay, let's see who's next. Probably my least favorite of the taller ones. Just because she feels so little armored with these, and they look kind of bulky. Other than that, she's cool. We modified the weapon again, because hers was the stupidest weapon where she has to hold it like this. I know it's supposed to be like she's swimming, but it just looks weird, and it affects posability a lot for her to hold it like that. And um, uh, pretty nice. They have like, the same basic build. The blue, the blue and the brown and the green all have the same basic build. And then the same with the other three, the white, black, and red. This guy looks really cool like this. I didn't modify his weapon much. Just made it shorter where he could like sling it over his shoulder. He's got the gun in the end still. can still do it if I turn the thingy. He looks really cool, really powerful like the spikes down here. I like how they tried to make them look a little bit different. Like this guy has the spike, she has the tur the blue has the turbines, the black has the gun in the stomach, the white has the like um, big saw weapon, uh, the red has the gun on his shoulder, and the 
green has like the vines and stuff. I like how they tried to add something different for all these guys. And lastly is the red one, which is not my favorite now that I modified it. And the other thing I did was, like with the white one, I just modified and put one of these little short pieces. I put red on this guy, and I modified the weapons to be like backwards daggers because they look better like that. The gun on his shoulder is really awesome. Uh, can it pose? No, it just goes left and right, left and right. I might have constructed this wrong, but still looks awesome. Love the translucent on this guy. These pieces feel thick, and they don't think they're going to break like Transformers translucent pieces do. Scale-wise, let me grab a Toa. Uh, yeah, I'm going to use Takanu, because Takanu is roughly the same size as all these guys are on the bottom. He's about as tall as Takanu. I mean, he is Takanu. He's about as tall as Tahu. Uh, I did get the new mask, the glitter mask, and I did rig up an older head. I'll show that in the Toa video, not this video. Size-wise, though, they come to about his side. That's good scale. For him, uh, I'll show how I read this up in the next video when I review the Toa. Uh, with Makuta, Makuta like dwarfs the Toa, so he they dwarf. I mean, he dwarfs these guys, obviously. These guys don't stand a chance against Makuta or any of the Makuta for that matter. They're like bigger than the Toa. All the Makuta I designed to be bigger than the Toa. So, what I suggest these guys, I would suggest all of them if you have the one piece to modify and if it doesn't bother you I still suggest them the really nice builds they're all the same sort of build like I said two basic builds the tall ones like um, I use this guy like this guy and then the shorter ones it, of the shorter ones here I mean they're not really that much taller just like barely I mean you can barely even tell this guy I would suggest for the shorter build because he does come with elbow articulation, I don't know why they didn't do that for the red and the uh, blue, I mean, red and the white. And if I was going to suggest one of these, I really do like the brown one. But if you're going to get them all, they look great together. They're similar enough like with the same mask and kind of the same build, but there's enough like uniqueness about each one. Because these guys are supposed to be about the race that live on that planet, island, the island of the what is it called now? I, I've always called it the Island of Matanui. It might be Okano or o, something like that. Okoto. The Island of Okoto. And I still probably will refer to it as Matanui. But, yeah, these guys are well worth the pickup at nine bucks a piece. Uh, I will say that the $9 Hero Factory sets, I think this was a $9 set, I'm not going to say for sure. And this has been heavily modified, but size wise. The older Hero Factory sets are much bigger, but you still get good quality for this, a good build, a lot of bulk to it for what it is. And I probably wouldn't have liked it as much if they would have been as tall as the Toa, or as tall as the old Hero Factory sets, because they would be too tall for the Toa. They would like they could defend themselves too well. So, yeah, these guys are definitely worth the pickup if you have the ability to modify it. And I know there's other ways to modify them, but. Yeah, they're definitely worth it, guys. They're worth the nine bucks. So, until next time, this has been your beloved Soldier of the Inverted Cross, Rip the Full Blown Freak Show, signing off. Farewell.